is that idiot? Who is that low-life idiot? Please, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. Ma. You're sorry for what? Look at my dress. Please, I didn't know you were standing there. You did not know. What's going I'm on sorry. here? Baby, who is this? That's the new maid. Look at my dress. Oh, look at look at the low life thing. Yeah. You're sorry, and I'm supposed to just accept and go in like that. Baby, can you please calm down? Okay. What were you doing? Ugo asked me to wash the car. Ugo asked you to wash this car. Don't worry, I'll do it. Look at her. She's sorry. No life from nowhere. I'll pay for it, okay? You better. I will. I promise. Ugo! Ugo! Sir! You there, Chris? No, sir. Are you mad? No, sir. Why did you ask her to push this car? No, sir. She said she's not emotional. She doesn't like them without working. She's allergic to staying without work. So I said, she wash the car now. She said she's staying emotional. So you said she wash the car now. Oh, emotional. Oh, forget out of my sight. No, sir. Rubbish. Sir, please, I am very sorry. It's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. Just drop that thing and leave that car. Are you being serious? Can't you see what she did to my dress? Is that why you have to insult her like that? It was an accident and she apologized. You should be supporting me. Yes, you're right. I should be supporting you, but only when you're right. You were wrong. You don't look down on people like that. Look, I don't even understand what you're saying. That girl ruined my dress. Just take a look. I bet she doesn't even know how much this dress costs. Every single thing I have on cost millions. Even her two year salary cannot even compensate for it. So please. I did not want to reprimand you in front of her. You were wrong and you apologized to her. <laughs> Are you joking? I won't do that. I am not asking you. It's a must. Like I said, let me know the cost of your outfit. I'll give you a check. for the way you spoke to her earlier on? Oh, oh, yes, um, me. I'm very sorry. For? I'm sorry for what happened outside. don't have to apologize. I, the truth is that I wasn't looking, so but I promise to be more careful next time. It's okay, but you know, we can be such good friends if you don't mind. I don't mind. I would really love that. Okay. So, 
Sí. Sophia. Ah, I'm not a monster. Okay, we'll see about that. To friendship. To friendship. To friendship. To friendship. Hey. <laughs> Clothes for you. I want you to have them. I don't understand. I mean, um, since we're friends now, and I wanted you to have some of my clothes. I mean, they don't even fit anymore. So, and you have a perfect body that would fit these clothes. So, wow. You're very beautiful, and. They look really expensive too. So you can say that again. They are very expensive. You know, Ram and I um, bought them when we traveled. I think some of them we bought in Spain, some we bought in the UK, some we bought in the Caribbean. They are very expensive, but they don't fit anymore. I want you to have them. <laughs> you want me to have them? Yeah, sure. You have a perfect body. We're friends now. You mean all of them? Yeah, sure. Oh, Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. What are friends? Thank you so much. Just look well, I'm sure you dropped them somewhere you don't remember. Clothes are not needles. I've not taken any clothes out of this bag. I'm sure someone stole them. We don't have a thief in this house. And I'm sure if somebody entered here, Ugu would have seen that person. How well do you know me? Well, we don't live with any other person in this house, do we? Do not be ridiculous. 
May is not a thief. Frank, she's not a thief. Can we just search her room? No, 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 no. We are not searching anyone. Why are you so trusted? Why? I'm sure she stole those clothes because I saw her sneak into this room in the afternoon. Sophia, it is late. Can you go freshen up and come to bed so you can continue this tomorrow? I'm not coming to bed until we search that girl's room. Okay. Suit yourself. This is not fair. This is not fair. How many times do I have to call you to get your attention? Sorry, sir. I've been very busy inside though. Busy doing what? No, sir. Did anybody enter this compound yesterday? Yesterday? No, nobody come here. At their gate, nobody pass. I told you. Nobody enter here. I told you. Let's go and search our room. Please. How would you know if somebody enters this house when you're always absent minded? Get out of my sight. No, sir. So, what now? We we'll go search our room, right? Ugu! Sir! Come here. Ask me to come to the living room right now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ask me to come to the living room. I said we search our room, not calling me to ask any stupid questions. Can you be more civil and allow me to think? What is wrong with you? Maybe you did not hear him very well. What he means is, did you steal my clothes? Move, not steal. Move, slipped. The same way your hand slipped when you poured dirty water on me. Sir, I am... Sophia gave me some clothes yesterday. That was when you were at work. Sophia, what is she talking about? She's lying. Me, me. When? Why are you doing this to me now? Sir, yesterday, Sophia called me to her room. And then she gave me some clothes. She said I could have them. According to her, she said she bought those clothes abroad. And I am still with the clothes. I haven't even tried Why them yet. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? What did I do to you? Eh? And I tried to be your friend though. Now she's lying. I didn't give her my clothes. <laughs> Don't make things difficult that it already is. Just keep quiet, okay? She's Can you just keep quiet? clothes so she wouldn't have the chance to defend herself she when she said that you bought these clothes abroad and you she was saying she's lying why are you believing that lie over me again this is not fair what is not fair is you stooping so low to have an innocent girl thrown out of this house Mother. 
the day, eh? You will not like what I will do to you. Let me just hear you make a sound. Rejoice. That your school is in the city doesn't mean you can visit me often. Do you want to get me fired? I know Mr. Ramsey is a nice man. He won't just fire you because I visited you. Mm. He's a nice man. And how do you know he's a nice man? The one time I saw him was a nice man. We forgot I read people's mind. Maybe the psychologist says. Eh? Yeah. Mind reader. Well, you tell me what's in my mind. Mm. Okay. You want to kill me? Ah. You're not far from it. <laughs> you are really not far <laughs> from it. <laughs> now tell me what brings you here. Ignore. And it had better be important. Else I'll kill you. Morning, please. Why didn't you call me? Eh? Please. I also want to know how my favorite sis is doing. And check if she has fallen in love with. You don't be mad. I mean, what is that? <laughs> sis, with Mr. Handsome now. Can't you cold? Are you like 10? <laughs> okay, be choice. You need to stop romanticizing my relationship with Mr. Ramsey. Mm -hmm. He is my boss. And what we share is a boss and an employee relationship. Nothing more. And in case you have forgotten, he has a fiance, Sophia, who currently lives in this house with us and is making my life